uh, up north to see uh, my buddy. Um, gave me a call the other day and he asked me to come up and give him a hand. Because uh, he had another beaver problem, the same like he did a couple of years ago. We were up here and uh, we had to trap a couple of these buggers because they were uh, doing a lot of uh, damage to some of his uh, property up there. And uh, this year, there's this big monster in his plantation, and it's just uh, it's just destroying everything. So he asked me to come up, and uh, I obliged, of course. And uh, we're going to be spending a couple of days up in his uh, backwards cab cabin, uh, do a little uh, small game hunting, and uh, do a little beaver trapping. So. Uh, we are uh, presently, uh, we just got, we're just passing uh, the park. We're on the 117 heading north. Uh, we're at about the 280, 300 kilometer marker. And uh, we should get to his place around 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. So stay with me guys. Uh, it's going to be a fun, uh, fun couple of days. I know it's been a while that I haven't posted up any, uh, any videos on our channel. But... Uh, I'll make up for all of this. So, uh, thanks again. Stay with us. You're going to be in for a treat this time. Hey guys. We're just uh, going to be going down to set the traps. We'll be putting up some Connie bears. So, uh, it's a long haul over here to get the next place. I didn't get much sleep yesterday. I was babysitting my daughter's dog and a little bastard just won't stop barking for the yapper. A big yapper at that. Anyway, I'm just heading down and uh, I'll meet you guys at the bottom of the mountain. that little uh, beaver run because we didn't want to bring uh, the dog in the cars because she's filthy she plays outside all the time and we walked all the way down there about a half a mile and I forgot the axe so have to pay the price walk all the way back Ain't a problem, really. Exercise will do me good. However, uh, these muck boots that I bought, hmm, I don't know, man. They're hurting my heels. So, anyway, it's two something in the afternoon and we haven't put the, the two or three sets that we were originally supposed to put on the first uh, the first beaver run there so i don't know if we're gonna have enough time yeah Gotta 
walk back. That's what you get for having your head up your ass, Sandy. Serves you right. See guys, so this is a uh, five, six year plantation and uh, they're just ripping apart everything here. And it's just one beaver here, I think, eh? What Nick is doing, he's uh, looking for the hole and he's gonna set his traps. See, they're just congregating all over here and they have uh, they have their food pile like right there. How many sets are you going to put here? Yeah, I don't know. I, haven't, I think I have a. I think I know where he might be. But he's not sure. He's not too far from where he makes the food. Yeah, makes sense. Chances are he's passing there because there, there, there's like a U and that's his feed pile so he might come to bring food from there or from here. So we're going to spike that up, so if he comes, we're going to put some scent here also. So if he comes from here, we're going to, if you have a chance, as I'm doing this, once I fit, once we put the first set, take your knife, take the poplar, the, the poplar that the fresh pot has been cut, and do like a feather, okay. feather sticks. Feather sticks? And we'll put a whole pile of feather sticks here, that when they see that, they're Just shavings, you mean? Yeah. Okay. They're going to come in. You're just making little lousy feather sticks if you want. And we're just going to pile them up over here next to the caster scent. And uh, it's like offering them a free meal. They won't be able to resist this, that's for sure. So there's two safeties that you have this here. Yeah. This keeps the spring from opening. But yeah. if the spring ever this comes off and you did do, you do the trigger, because it's the way it works. Yeah. Okay, this is the trigger here? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Like this? Uh-huh. So when the animal passes and it hits the forks. It releases the trigger. And, and it, it'll close. But right now the safeties are on and this is like a second safety. And what I do what I usually do is I even put a, a third one in there just to make sure it won't get fucked up. Uh, and usually the trigger you put it on the bottom of the trap so in this particular case it's going to be like this sometimes you can put it sometimes if the other you can also put it like this or you can put it like this yeah but you got to put a stick on both ends right yeah 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 you got to put like an x or else it'll just so what Turtle I around. what I usually do My partner says yeah my the guy who I go hunting with he's a fucking hunting he's a trapping fanatic. He says I overdo it with the safeties but Yeah well how many fingers has he uh, broken? Okay? How many fingers has he broken? Nothing but uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't take any chances. So you can't get a good, you can't get it right up against it if you do like this. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. This is gonna sink it to the ground. 
do this, and the other one is like this. This doesn't matter. You can pass it inside or outside. Actually, inside is better. And there's a spring move easier. Yes. So what I do then? That's the trigger. Is that ready to be uh, to be uh, planted in the water there? Yeah, not yet. You gotta attach it so it doesn't. You gotta make sure also that your safety spring. The safety is out of the way because if it snags the spring, your your your, your trap won't close. And that's when you take the wire. It's not a thing that you want to get paid by the hour. So the guys they say they make a living out of this fuck. They have to catch like now it's not too bad, but this particular beaver, I don't know where he's coming under from underground from the. I don't know where he's passing. I know, I know he's passing, but I don't know where he's... I usually get them when they go inside the, the, their house. See, see, hey, see, 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 bush. No, 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 no. see. Shavings. They just love this. Well, we did three sets, guys. We're not going to have time to go to the, uh, the other plantation on the other side of the property. It's already like it's starting to get dark. It took us over two and a half hours to put these three sets. We're going to come back in the morning and see what gives. Maybe we'll catch. Actually, maybe we'll catch. Maybe we'll trap that little brute. Actually, that big brute.
Okay, I want you guys to look at that. Do you see all that down there? That is a serious snowstorm. It's going to hit us sometime this evening. I'm sure of it. And oh. It's coming up the trail. Yeah, we're going to get quite a bit of snow tonight for sure. I just know it. Oh, it's Nick. He's coming back. He had gone to help a neighbor chop some wood. He's got a splitter. So they went out there. And Lionel, the Black Lab is with him too. Here they come. So talk a little later guys but I want you to take a look at everything here you see no snow anywhere in the morning you'll see what it's going to be like so long for now it was day two guys and did I call it yesterday or did I call it must have about two inches of snow maybe more Oh yeah, and uh, it's windy, it's cold, but we're out in the bush, and we love it. It's day two guys, with a little somewhat uh, of a snowstorm out there, and uh, we've got to have a hot breakfast, so we're going to make ourselves some fried bannock here, and some nice uh, mama jam. Stay with us. Good man. You don't look as good as me, but you look good. Okay. We're gonna have some fried bannock. You got up some overall. Did you put cinnamon on that? Yeah. Okay. You want some? No, no, I don't. I put my coffee. Put cinnamon in your coffee. Very good for you, you know. Cinnamon and I love the muscat. Muscat, I go for the tiger. Ah. I do jam. Good. Very good games. I mean, it's not as though you're looking at one thing. Okay, I'll skip that one. Watch the next one. I think both of these. You know I shouldn't be doing this. I'm a diabetic and I eat like a, a candy and sugar like a child. Well, here's to day two, Nicholas. Plantation guys, it snowed last night. I'm gonna go set a few Connie bears there, see if we can catch a beaver. Sorry about the movement, the ground is so uneven. There's no trail here, really. I'm just following Nick, that's why it's so uh, camera moving around so much. We're seeing here. This is what it is, guys. Winter Wonderland. Simply beautiful. How much? 
turn the camera on when we're done with the plantation, so stay with me guys. Is this it? Well, this is the other uh, plantation. And uh, where you see the dog playing around there, that's where the hole is and the beaver's in there. And it just uh, plays around this area all over here. Yeah, our dog knows that there's something there. What's up, Lionel? What's up, Lionel? Yeah, holds right there. So Nick has gone to get some uh, few sticks so he can set the set the traps, and uh, he'll be back. I'll start shooting again.